Hello everyone, I am RTS Man, and today, continuing on with the uh, Grand Tactician Civil War US playthrough. Right now I've got uh, both, so just to recap from the last video, right now I have both Patterson and Hooker uh, hanging tight at Winchester, Virginia. They're taking the city and they're going to move a bit so the, there's a whole bunch, there's a pretty heavy uh, Confederate contingent over here in the uh, in West Virginia. So I'm going to move uh, both of these armies together once they're ready to move and move them to engage Hampton, the Army of the Northwest, and uh, what is this, the Army of the Potomac. Yeah, so that's going to be the plan there. Uh, at the same time, I've got, uh, where is it? Oh, have I already, ah, yes. I have the Army of Northeastern Virginia moving on to Richmond. We already defeated the Army of the Shenandoah. They're not looking good right now. And they are also very much not, uh, ready to meet us in battle. Now, we're going to keep moving on towards, uh, Towards Richmond, we'll take the capital and then start moving westward. Hopefully, so hopefully we manage to join up somewhere with uh, Tyler's Army of the Mississippi, which is almost ready to keep moving east. I'm going to move them on to Atlanta next, right here, and then start moving straight east to the sea on Charleston. And I think we, I think it's about time we moved. Uh, Nathaniel Lyon into Arkansas. Not that he's, uh, he's not particularly well equipped for that at the moment, but you know, at the very least we can keep some Rebs busy. Ah, yes, and the Army of Occupation and the West Virginia Militia are looking very poorly right now. At the very least, uh, Kelly's men are inflicting some casualties on the Rebs. It's really not much. I mean, what is it? Let's see the exact numbers. Yeah, 448 men against 19... Well, no, okay, just under 1,000 men. Only about 900 against 19,000. Yeah, that's never going to go in their favor, but at least he's inflicting more casualties than he's taking, and that's what matters. Eh? Those casualties don't make sense. Uh... The enemy has reportedly suffered 26 casualties, including 27 captured. Uh, Alright, the Army of the Mississippi is ready to move out. We'll send them to Atlanta. Looks like Polk's command here in Nashville is uh, uh, rallying a bit. 11,000 men, not really much of a threat. Again, taking, moving further... Uh, Eastward is more of a concern for us. So get Tyler to Atlanta. I am interested in seeing uh, Patterson when Patterson is ready to march out. Okay, so we've taken Richmond. That's very nice. The Army of Washington is in peak readiness, which is also good news. Ah, and we've managed to take a telegraph line. That helps. So yes, he's going to keep sitting there, uh, Grant. Maybe... I might move him on to Petersburg. Yeah, I'm going to move him on to Petersburg and then Norfolk. That should uh, give us a nice spread. Oh, is the enemy moving? I hear rebel drums, but I don't see rebel troops. I hear rebel guns. Is Hampton engaged in a fight? <laughs> I guess it's... Ah, the Army of the Potomac is moving on Grant. Now that is going to be an interesting fight. Yeah, the Army of the Potomac is desperate. They're trying to move out quickly to engage Grant, which is going to get them a very nice defeat. Ah. Why can't I fight this battle? So with most of the Reb army evacuating from the from West Virginia. I think it's a good... T oh, what's the strength of the Army of the Northwest? Oh, wait, I thought I paused this. So 
So it's the strength of the Army of the Northwest. That's manageable for Hooker. Still can't take part in the Battle of Richmond for some reason. It's Grant against Beauregard. I think Grant has the advantage there in terms of uh, skill, but I don't want to test it. If I can avoid it. So 4,030. So he's got to deal with 7,800 men. He himself has 11,000. Okay, we'll have this then. And then I'll take a closer look at what's going on in Washington, or in uh, Virginia, with the Army of Washington. Because they're outnumbered 2 to 1. Uh, if possible, I'd like to avoid a fight, but I know I very well might not have the choice. Oh, uh, yeah, so there's only one road into the, uh, into the, uh, objective, so uh, it's going to be a lot of forest fighting. This is going to be interesting. Hmm. Not sure how I feel, uh, it's certainly going to be an interesting fight. The enemy does, so it's a... Let's get an idea of the positioning down close. Okay, so it's going to be a very flat forest battle. Most likely they're going to be deployed along the river here because the banks do give cover. Uh, let's see, Price has arrived. Yeah, so that that's most likely what they're going to do. I... Then again, it could be something weird where they just give us the objective again. You know, it's uh, it's late in the day, so we're probably going to end up moving, uh, taking action tomorrow, whatever we end up doing. So I'll get them at double quick so that they can get there and we can get an idea of the enemy's positions. Maybe harass them with artillery, though with this thick wood, with these thick woods, it's not going to be easy, and we very well might not be able to use our artillery at all. Okay, there we are, end of day. Oh! Oh, interesting. So they were trying to... Okay, so they were trying to deploy forward of us. Aha, uh -huh. so we're not really allowed to move much, but they were trying to deploy forward of us over here at the, at the river. I am going to... So I'm going to detach Buell, make him the main... Uh, attacking arm of our force, since he has the most men and the most guns. How many men have we lost already, seriously? Okay, why are we losing so many men just overnight like this? This is stupid. Okay, but so what I was saying is we are going to have Lion's men, these uh, few brigades that he has under his direct command, we're going to have them move around the side uh, by Winton Hollow Road and try to strike over here just to the from the west while Buell makes the main attack. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, the enemy has some breastworks set up. If they did, I'm just talking like a sailor. Oh shit, yep. They decided to keep deploying forward in a forward position. Which has its merits, but in this case, not really. I'm going to try to avoid engaging the front of their fortifications, but at present it seems like we won't have much of a choice in that matter. Oh, nice. That gives... Okay, having the breastworks there gives us a lot of potential in terms of uh, our reserves. Alright, let's attack MacArthur from the entire formation, and then I'll have him move to secure the position. At, uh, what is it? Little Sugar Creek. Yeah, like I said, I try, I'd like to try to avoid engaging them frontally for obvious reasons. It's just not a, uh, a safe thing to do. You know, engage, frontally engaging a fortified position. Might not have a choice about that matter. Well, actually, no, I am going to have a choice about the matter. Uh, that's why I've got Buell on the side here. The way things are looking now, it would seem that they have completely exposed the objective, which, I mean, if that's the case, who fucking raw. Well, let's move Anderson into position. See how this goes. Aha! Okay, there's more men appearing. That causes some problems. Let's position Schaefer's uh, rifle 
battery right there, and we'll get Andrews to move around to cover. Let's hope that's just a cavalry regiment. Well, MacArthur is capturing the objective, it would seem. If very slowly, which makes sense due to the small force that he has with him. Good news is I believe that uh, Anderson has the means to eliminate most of the enemy force here. After all, it's 3,600 men against 2,800. Not exactly a... Uh, massive advantage the enemy has in numbers. Is King in position? King is almost in position. However, it looked like uh, one of... Who's that? Yeah, Andrews is not looking too good at the present. Oh shit, we just lose Andrews? I think we just lost Andrews. Yep. Looks like best option. Let's get Sigil to, or Sigil to fire into the sides of the enemy. Reposition him very quickly. Fulkerson's making a push. He's trying to take advantage of uh, what he gained by breaking off Andrews. Makes sense. Sturgis is dead. Ah, oh, fuck. There we go. Now King has his orders, finally. How is the uh, artillery looking? Schaefer is... Schaefer's looking rough, to say the least. Ah, oh, fuck. And Sturgis looks... Or, what was Sturgis's brigade looks very poorly. At least we're getting some fire into the side of Fulkerson. But I don't think it's enough to really break them. Or hell, even really scare them at this point. Okay, we got rid of the artillery at least, but now our artillery is on the edge of breaking. Oh! Yes! Okay, uh, there we go, there we go. We lost our artillery. But at least they uh, held while they could. How are the casualties? Nah, not, not in our favor. Okay, so King is able to keep up substantial enough fire on the enemy to... You see, we can play the numbers game. The Rebs can't. Oh, we did not break that uh, infantry. They're just standing there, not getting shot at. Well, the Missouri State Guard certainly caught us off guard, but looks like we've managed to uh, recover that pretty quickly. Elzy's brigade is going to take some serious casualties any second now. Let's move Ord in a bit closer against the Arkansas State troops. Oh, nice. Little Sugar Creek is ours. Yeah, Lyons uh, Division did not do very well at all. Move in closer, for Christ's sake. We gotta wipe them before uh, Anderson breaks. There we go. Getting the Arkansas State Troops... So, getting Ord in a bit closer, got the Arkansas State Troops to disengage from Anderson, allowing Anderson to better engage the mounted rifles. We're not gonna stop shooting at LZ until he completely breaks. Enemy is retreating. Major victory. Yeah, major for the Western Theater, that's for sure, but we need to... We want to get those casualty numbers better, like, not just in percentages, but also in raw numbers. Surprised the mounted rifles are still standing. They've taken, like, 40% uh, casualties at this point. Let's engage them from every side we can. Make up for our, uh... For our fuck-up on the eastern part of that, uh... On the eastern front of this battle. Very nice. Now the rifles are on their are on the verge of breaking. All right, Zolikoff is looking very poorly at this point. Yeah, and the casualties are finally turning in our favor. So even casualties, but what matters is that the enemy has you know, the enemy has broken, and we've uh, taken Carrollton. Well, I think that might actually. There we go pretty successful here at... Uh... Alright, after that success, I think I'm going to leave this here. Next battle will likely be the Battle of Waynesboro Bridge with the uh, Army of the Shenandoah and the Army of Washington. We will see how that goes. But, uh, thank you everyone for watching. I am RTS Man, and have a good day.